Hi, my name is Sharuk, and I'll be going through our dashboard page within Hawk AI. Now, our dashboard page is the first page you'll see when you click into a client account from the performance overview page, which is the first page you'll see when you log into it to your account. From the top, you're able to see which users have access to this uh, account, and you're actually able to invite other users as well right from this page. Below this is a checklist to make sure that you've got all the necessary integrations, your settings, your budgets and goals uh, all set up, as well as your Slack alert preferences as well. Um, once you've done that, you can actually click on the little X to dismiss these to make sure they kind of go away, or you can just hide them as well if there so any of that outstanding tasks there. Um, now, after that, you, you get real to, into the dashboard uh, function and features. Um, it starts off with all of your goals for the month and how you're performing for those different KPIs. You're able to add up to six goals um, or KPIs from your from your platforms, from your analytics tools of GA. Uh, here, what we have is our total media spend across all of our ad platforms, as well as we pulled in our goals from Google Analytics as well. But these can be customized based on your very individual client or your individual business. Um, and see the KPIs that matter to you um, the most. You can edit these clicking on the gear icon. Um, cable to add, again, up to six. Uh, if I want to add one more, I'll need to replace one of these. So let's say, um, let's go back here and say um, goal four. I want to repl uh, I want to place total goal completions. I'll just go into the gear icon, delete that, and then uh, I'll can just save it as is, or I can go back in and maybe add another metric. Say I want to add in, um, go down here to say a Google ads, Google ad clicks. I can just click on save and it will then pull in ad clicks from Google ads. Now we, again, we highly recommend that these KPIs are what the ones that are the most key to your business. Um, that's kind of our best practice recommendation. Now, below our goals um, section, we've got campaign performance. Uh, from this view, you're able to see all of your um, performance based off of platforms individually. So I can see Facebook ads performance, Google ads, Microsoft ads, and I can use this drop down menu to see the performance of those individual campaigns within the platform. These metrics that we've had included within this table. Um, are those that are shared amongst different ad platforms. So what you won't see are things that are uh, metrics that are specific to a certain ad platform. So for example, with Facebook ads, you might not see post likes because those aren't shared across multiple ad platforms like Google ads. You're also able to export this data as well into a CSV and um, use it as a way to manipulate the data, uh, filter it, create pivot tables, et cetera, or upload it somewhere else. And you can customize the date range so you can look at data for the current month, the last 30 days, or use a custom date range picker and say you want, you want to do a bi-weekly check-in, just select a two-week period um, and click on apply. It'll update that as well. Within this view uh, under all's uh, filter, you also it, we also pull in the different campaign groups so for this a specific account, it's a account that uh, advertises across the world. And so we've created campaign groups that are for geographical re regions. We have one for North America, for example. Uh, you're able to drop that down and look at the different individual campaigns that are targeting North America for that region. Um, you can also filter it. If you just want to see performance for campaign groups, you can filter that view and it'll only show you the performance for campaign groups. Or vice versa, if you want to check in for just platforms, you can also look at your platforms holistically as well. So that's our campaign performance table. Below that, we have the budget monitoring table here. And again, we can see the budget monitoring for both your individual platforms, as well as if you've created budget groups, you'll be able to see in um, your pacing for the budget groups as well. What's really nice is we've got a multiple metrics here. So you've got your total budget. You can see what your total budget has been set to. You can see what your spend to date is as well as your expected spend. And then 
how much um, uh, budget do you have remaining for the rest of the month? So you can see here, for example, um, you've got uh, spent to date for our total September budget of 682, our budget's 5,500, and our expected spend to date right now is at 1,100. Right from this view, you're able to go into the budget monitoring page as well to, um, as well as look at your enhanced budget monitoring tool as well. Also, you can kind of click these through to go into those respective pages. So as you can see, the dashboard view really does bring in um, your metrics from different platforms. It's a really great way to just kind of look at the health of your account, see if there's any issues. Really great for say account managers to go in for say a client call and just get up to speed as to how the account is performing. Uh, we hope that you get a ton of value from the dashboard page. And thank you so much for uh, walking through this uh, feature.